Welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, the summer update has just dropped as of 6.01. Shawnee G has just made an announcement. Summer update 2023. Hold on, I'll see if I can get that update for you. Yep, it is right here. It says, summer update 2023 part 1. Custom ELS. New vehicles, new fire department, new building, and new map improvements. So I've got the update log here for you guys. I'll read it out loud. All right, it says summer update part one of two. So there's going to be two parts of this summer update. So that's going to be really, really cool. New fire department liveries. So you can actually upload fire department liveries now. You can you used to only be able to do sheriff and police. Custom ELS private server pack. This allows private server owners to create custom ELS patterns. You have a full customization ranging from light bar speed and more. And then there's also a tutorial video, which I did say in my stream that they had private. I'll show you guys here in a minute. Fire department update. So there's new Springfield station. There's a new heavy tanker, a medical bus, and a mobile command center for FD. There's also a River City Bank security car. And then there's a civilian overland Apache S. FP. There's a Rick and John's job in Springfield. So they actually have a job now. There's a bakery job in Springfield. There's a movie job in Springfield. And there's a mod shop in Springfield. There's also new uniforms for all teams. And then you also can edit speed limits in the game. Okay, so uh, bug fixes. Uh, crossing lights. So there's new traffic lights. Uh, updated map footage. There's a kill logs command, which is actually nice. There is a time command, so you can actually change the time without having to go to the settings. There's major server calls now, and then there's obviously uh, bug fixes and improvements. So we're going to hop into game here and just go one by one through everything. All right, everyone, we're currently inside of the game, and as you can see, they got new UIs for every single thing. The map looks just, like, brighter. Uh, there's a bunch of, like, power lines and stuff on here. Uh, they're connected to the traffic lights. That's very cool. We even got a little bench over here, which is very, very nice. Uh, we also... Okay, so we got this new UI down here. Uh, the phone hasn't changed much. The whole map is entirely different. You can see there's a bunch of, like, trees and stuff, which is very, very nice. I got some of my members of my recording team here. Um, actually, what I'm gonna do, though, is I'm gonna go through with the update log. I'm sorry if this affects anything on my OBS. Um, okay, so... Uh, I'm not going to go with the fire department liveries, but I am going to go check out the custom ELS pack first, since that's the first thing on our list. So let's go here. Let's let's just go to RCPD. All right, let's check out. Whoa, I forgot the, the new station updated. So there's this whole new station. Hold on, I can take you guys around in free cam. So here's the armory area. Uh, here's the gym. So they, have, they do have a gym. Uh, hold on. First of all, the outside looks very... Whoa. That's actually really, really modern. That's I love that so much. Uh, okay, so there's the waiting room. Kind of like the sheriff's office, it reminds me of. Okay, so there's a bunch of offices. There's a dispatch room. And then there's the interrogation room. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Oh my gosh, they got the, they got the song. Uh, empty room, I think. Uh, okay, so there's another dispatch room. Very, very cool. They also, they got new uniforms. So let's check this out. <gasps> Wait, these are like new actual uniforms. So, class, you can wear class A, class B, class C, like from its default RCPD uniforms, which is very nice. All right, now, if I go on my setting, how do I do this? Custom ELS pack. So, I have to buy it, I think. Um, okay, so I do have to buy it. Upgrade packs. I do have to, I do. All right, I'll be back once I buy this. All right, everybody. So, I just bought the pack it is 300 robux so all you have to do is scroll down here custom els patterns just open it and then you'll be able to find this uh okay so so it's only for the explorer yeah it's only for the explorer i guess okay so how does this work um so there's red white blue am amber white there's white oh yeah for the lights so okay so that's cool I can't even see though, cause uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. We got one light, two light. Uh, let's do red. Boom, boom, boom. Let's just honestly, let's just click random, dude, and just see like how what it'll do. I'm just gonna go random for the rear. Let's go. Let's just go all blue and amber for the rear. Uh, reminder, I'm just 
testing this out. I'll probably do an in-depth video on it. Uh, let's just name it pattern one. Flashes per minute. Uh, honestly, let's do 500. Uh, repetitions, two. Let's do two. All right. Change oh, I can change the light bar. I don't even have that light bar. I don't Wait, what light bar is that? Okay, I do have that light bar. I'm just going to save it, but I do want to see what it does when I change. Oh, so there's codes you can share. Uh, you can, yeah, you can just change the light. Oh, you can just change the light bar and see it's changing right there. Uh, you can insert a row. I don't know what that does, honestly. All right, let's go see the customization. Let's go on the police team. I'm not sure which explorer that was, but we're going to see right now. All right. Uh, I don't think they added new weapons. I, I, I honestly forgot if they did. Uh... One second here. All right. Side runners, no. Where is it? So it might not be on here. If it is, it'll be on this light bar. Wait, this light bar. So if we notice anything different, okay. So we have all the lights here. So if we notice anything different than it is on this car, if not, we'll try the other explorer. Boom, boom, boom. So it's definitely not this one. This is definitely default. Let's try the other explorer here now. All right, let's get this. Uh, where is it? No, this is the 2013. All right, yeah, 2020. Let's try the 2020. All right. Where is it? No, it's not in here. It's not in here. Okay, let's just let's just turn on all the lights. You know, just make sure we don't miss anything integrity light bar yep so if i'm right i should have a bunch of white and amber lights okay no i don't um i'm gonna pull up the tutorial video real quick and see what's going on all right everyone so it does say data stores are having issues but um please try again later you know i'll try to get a clip of it on screen if i can but this is just like the overview on how it really works oh uh, yeah so i i really don't know uh okay yeah so it doesn't even say how to like activate it so it might be automatically updated you know so i don't i don't know all right uh how, can i toggle it no i can't all right well on to the next thing all right everyone so i just i was just informed that you can add 40 player servers which is nice so if you type in the max players here you can do 40 it says server successfully changed let's see if there's any uh listed servers at 40 up California, they're already at 40. So that's pretty nice. You can actually hold 40 people now, which is very, very cool. But also, we're going to go check out the uh, new Springfield Fire. Okay, so as I predicted, they have a Station 1 button and a Station 2 button. So I'm just going to click Station 2. Let's edit, uh, put in our code, and it should teleport us. Oh, oh yeah. All right, so yep, this is definitely... Okay, let's just check around here real quick. So they do have a Rick and John... Oh, look at this. They have a little street sign like this right here. They also do have a Rick and John sh shop. The movie theater also has a bunch of stuff here. Uh, I want... Okay, so you can actually work there. Where do you... Okay, so there's a theater one. You can actually watch movies or whatever in there. That's pretty cool. I'll have to... Oh, you can also pump fuel from this diesel tank. Sorry, I'm getting very sidetracked here. All right, so... They do have different uniforms for everything in Springfield Station 2. These are our custom ones. So they have Class C. Uh, anything special? No, they just have the turnout gear, which is very, very cool. It's like brownish-orange. That's pretty nice. Most XP earned. Wow, they actually have a leaderboard. 416,000 XP is insane, like, actually. All right, let's check out the interior. So if you walk in, you just have the front desk. Obviously, that's the outside. River City Fire Department. Okay, so there's the upstairs. What do they have up here? All right, so they just have a bunch of bunk stuff. Station 2, bunk 3, bunk 2, bunk 1. That's amazing. Office. They have two offices here. So that's basically station number 2. Let's go check out the new vehicles. Uh, The new vehicles. Okay, so they have a heavy tanker. Let's check out the heavy tanker. Okay, so they have a medical bus. Oh, Oh, role plays. I, I spot role plays here. I don't even have enough money to buy it. I'll just buy some money, honestly, in a second here. 
Okay, so they have the heavy tanker. I can't I can't get it. But if one of my uh, people inside of the voice channel here wants to teleport to me and they have a captain rank, please be my guest. They also have the mobile command center for the battalion chief. So it's kind of the same thing as the uh, PD. So let me just go to a public server real quick and I could probably buy all these. Wait a minute. Uh, sir, do you have the do you have captain on this? All right, everyone. So here's the medical bus. I'm not able to get it because PRC, uh, for some reason, they're having problem. Like if I join a public server to buy it, I can't buy it. But here's the ELS, and the door is actually open, which is very cool. Like this, you can actually enter it, and then here's how you enter the passenger. You can just drive down like that. So that's gonna be good for some role plays. Plus, you can add a custom livery onto this one. I'm pretty sure you can add a custom livery onto the medical. Uh, do they uh turn on the lights again, sir? All right. So yeah, here are all the lights. Very, very amazing. Now drive it. Let's just see how this thing drives. See how this thing performs. Everyone sit down, sit down. So it's a, just a very long bus, you know. So many roleplay ideas with this. But um, I'm going to have to go show off the next vehicle now. All right, everyone. So I just managed to buy the mobile command center. So let's go ahead and spawn that real quick. I doubt there's, like, even an inside. I, doubt, I think it's just a big vehicle. All right, let's back it up here. All right, yeah, so... Hold on, let me turn my game volume up. So yeah, it's just the same sirens. Uh, yep. So, uh, there's no inside. Uh, is there any compartment? Wait, is can you go inside? No, you cannot go inside. So that's basically the mobile command center. It's just a big old vehicle like that. I'll show you guys the tanker now. Alright, everyone, so I just bought the heavy tanker here. So you can actually get your attack lines. Uh, okay, so yeah, it's just like the tank, just like the tanker, but I'm assuming it holds more water. All right, let's go here. Let's turn on the lights and then those lights. All right, very very cool. Oh whoa whoa, I'm glitched inside. <laughs> okay, I'll just go in free cam. I can't even go in free cam, but that's basically it. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much the tanker. I on I could probably reset and have to go back inside. Alright, so, yep, the water pump, uh, yes, it does hold more water than the normal tanker. I do definitely recommend it if you're going to do some role plays on this, because uh, it's very, very cool. But now, this is all for the Springfield Fire Department. Let me show you guys the, uh, let's go to the new buildings. So, we're going to go to the Rick and Jobs, uh, Rick and John's job in Springfield now. All right, everyone, so I do want to take a quick moment to adjust the time command. So if you're on a private server and you do, like, time, it should change. Yep, I just did time 12, and everything just changed. Very, very nice. So instead of showing you guys the new, uh, hold on, let me stop the fire. Instead of showing you the new, uh, what's it called, the new jobs, I'm going to have to take a quick second and show you the new vehicles first. So there's a new River City Bank security car and then there's a civilian overland. So let's search up overland. So it costs $42,000 here. Oh, very, very cool. It's like a new little Jeep. Wait, is this... So S... Oh, I just want to make sure it's the right car. Uh, I just want to make sure it's the right car. No, it's not. Uh, Overland. SFP. No, this is the car. So that's very cool as well. Let me just spawn that one. It sounds amazing. This actually sounds very, very cool. I don't know what the top speeds are or anything on this, but this is just the new car. Uh, while we're driving this, let's head over to the bank and we can see the new bank car. Very, very nice. Oh my gosh, I got stuck. Also, if you haven't already noticed, there are timestamps in the description. You can view all the timestamps so that you... Oh, I, I don't know how to do this. Uh, so that you can view all of the times with like all of the updates covered in the video because i know i'm kind of scrambled a bit but that's besides the point all right let's go to the bank job start this all right now hopefully it's not expensive because i spent all my money uh how much is it gonna be all right it's fifteen thousand dollars oh does it have lights on it it's a 2013 explorer it does not have lights but it's very cool it does have the cool little livery no lights, nothing special, just this. And then I'm pretty sure that's it. There's no uniform that comes with it or anything. Very, very cool. All right, now let's go to the Rick and John's job in Springfield. All right, everyone, so for the first job, there's actually a Spring Bakery and the Rick and John's. So they're right next to each other, so they're like business competitors or whatever. 
So I'm just gonna walk in Rick and John's. Oh, oh, so it's it's connected. So basically, you got Rick and John's here. There's nothing too special for Rick and John's, uh, but it is connected. So let's get the job here. Well, I gotta quit my bank job, but it is connected, which is very cool. So I guess it's two and one. So you do have pizza. You can't grab the pizzas. Uh, you can't really. You can't grab it. But actually, I might need a tray first. So, I don't know where I would get that. So, I can get a cup. Uh, I can fill that with coffee. Uh, I can also... No, I can't do anything here. So, I do. I just fill it with coffee and then give it to the player. Very nice. Uh, for Rick and John's, I have no idea, though. Um, so, yeah, you can't grab any of this stuff. And I don't even know if you can grab trays or anything. So, hmm, I don't... I have no idea. But we're gonna go now to the movie theater job. Because, uh, I don't... Wait, actually, you can get muffins and stuff. So you can get muffins, cookies, uh, and then that's it. Muffins, cookies, and brownies, which is very nice. You can eat everything here. But I'm pretty sure that's it. And then I'm pretty sure you can rob that cash register. Very nice interior, though. You got some seats. And then you got a waste uh, can, trash can. All right, now for the next job, we have the movie theater. Oh, wow, okay. So now showing. There's nothing showing here. All right, so they got the condiment section. Very cool. All right, so they got theater one and theater two. So let's just get on the job. You don't need any job points for these jobs, I've noticed. Uh, I don't think you can make any popcorn. Uh, no, I assume not because there's no cups or anything. Because let's go in here. All right, uh, I don't think these play anything. I, I simply think they're decals and they're here for role play. Let's just check though. Uh, do they have a stage? Do they have a theater too, right? Yeah, they do. All right. Uh, okay, so this is basically the same thing. Very, very cool. So this is going to be very great for some role plays. Uh, and then they have an employees only. So you can do, you can now work the front desk. Remember, this all used to be blacked out, which is very, very nice. So. That's it, and you can get your tickets here. I don't think there's actual movie tickets. I'll let you guys know if I do find any. So, now, the last uh, thing I want to go to is the mod shop, guys. Where is the mod shop? Uh, I have no idea. Okay, so the mod shop... Oh, the mod shop's right here. I don't think anything changed in Liberty Apparel. I will let you guys know if it does. Uh, but, yeah, very, very nice trees. All right, so there's... There's a job repair, so you. I think. You, wait, can you actually get a job here? Uh, let's see here. Nope, no job. But you can work on the front desk. Joe's repair and body shop. Very nice. So there's a little waiting room here. Uh, okay. So and then you can actually take your car in here. So Bugatti, mind going in there and just like repainting it or something. It most likely works just like the one in the city. It's obviously just in Springfield. There's way more life to Springfield, which is gonna be amazing for like all the role plays in the 1980s stuff very very nice okay so they just repainted their car so that's basically the overview of the mod shop which is very nice so they do have new sheriff uniforms which is what i'm gonna dive into next so i do want to go on the sheriff team and just view those really quickly uh and then we only have a few more stuff left to cover okay so there's a class c class a class b you can view them here i'll just show off the class c so i got the radio on the chest Radio down here, LCSO logo, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I want to see, do, has the weapons or anything updated? No, they have not. Uh, no new animations, nothing like that. All right, so they do have edit speed limits, so I assume if I go on private server settings, there is a setting which is edit speed limit. so let me just try to find that here. Um, okay, team group lock, I think that's new. I'm pretty sure that's new. Team group lock. I'm pretty sure that's new, but I don't know. Uh, okay. Let's try to find it. Custom limits categories. This is the new one, right? So, uh, manually reset speed limits. Zero for a level. Level one is the lowest. So, let's just put 25. Uh, can I do that? Okay. Now, I assume some of this, most of the speed limit. Oh, this updated. They got uh, little cages here. Oh, they added a little, new little barn over here. Okay. I did not even notice that. Uh, okay, so they got a new little barn area. 
and then like it's all caged out. They removed the whole side of the parking lot over there. Very, very cool. That wasn't mentioned in the update logs. All right, so the farmland, did it get smaller or bigger? I, like, I can't see because of the free cam, but I'll make sure to head over there. Hey, dri drive up that, uh, okay, I was going to say pick me up and drive through there. He also has a new vehicle. Uh, are you able to get up there? Or is it too much? Go, go, go. All right, hopefully he's going to get a running, uh, like a speedy start here. All right, so they got the new barn. Very, very nice. Just drive over there to, like, the main barn area. Because I think this is all the same, pretty much, with just, new f with just like, new features. Oh, there's also that thing. Uh, I, I don't know what you call these, but, like, it's the thing that connects to power lines. Very, very nice. They also have some billboards. I, I don't know if those are new or not. I'm pretty sure they aren't. But I could be wrong. But, uh, yeah, apart from that, this part looks the same. All right. So, I'm going to just cover this update really quickly in just uh some in just really like really quick. So, there's new fire department, new heavy tanker, new medical bus and new mobile command center for that. There's the new ELS update. You're going to have to watch a tutorial video on your own. I'll leave that in the description for you. Uh new fire department liveries you can add, new buildings, Rick and Jobs job, Spring Bakery job, movie theater job, mod shop, new uniforms, new police uniforms, new sheriff uniforms, new fire uniforms uh you can edit the speed limits uh your your loadout automatically saves once you equip it so so if i change these around so if i change these around it'll automatically save from what i want it to which is very very cool uh i'm i i assume there's also even uh global stat leaderboards so if you go to the stations uh let me just load really quick there should be a leaderboard in here somewhere uh, I don't think it'll be in here, but it should be, like, somewhere here. Uh, it does say it's on the sheriff team. Oh, wait, it just says police and fire, so maybe it's... Oh, it's right here. So, yeah, some guy has 390,000. Last... Just in the week, this guy has earned 80,000 XP, which is very nice. All right, and then uh, for the bug fixes, they have 40-player servers. You can edit... Like, there's new traffic and crossing lights. There's overall updated map foliage, which is very nice. There's a kill logs command, so let's just try to do that here inside of the game real quick. Kill logs. So there's a kill logs. So if I uh, kill that guy, it's going to appear there, which is very nice. Uh, there's fixed holster animation, so that kind of looked different. I'm not going to lie. So yeah, looked kind of different. Uh, you can also do the time command. I showed that earlier. Faster vehicle spawning. I did notice that. And then uh, that's pretty much it from the actual update log. Let me know what you all do think of this update down below. This is a 20-minute video, so I'm going to have to get it out here sooner or later. Uh, I will be posting a video either later today or tomorrow about everything we missed and just all the new map improvements. And I'll see you guys either later today or tomorrow. If you do want me to check out like all of the new map features, I'll go ahead and check some really quickly actually. Um, so yeah, everyone, let me know what you do think of these map updates. So as you can see, they do they did update the light, the poles. Uh, they do update all these traffic lights. They put the street names on them. Ooh, the new station. I don't know if that's new or not. Maybe, maybe. They also have a bunch of, like, new trees and stuff. Uh, are these buildings new? I've never seen those. Maybe they aren't. Alright. Well, uh, I guess that's it for the update log. If you did enjoy, hit the like button and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you did think of this update. And I will see you guys later.